It's the SD-WAN demo from the Microsoft Roadshow. So let's talk a little bit about how Citrix is leveraging its SD-WAN technologies today and what we're bringing to the table from a uh, Microsoft perspective. So what you see here is a typical configuration that you might have in a business. They've got a branch location, they're connecting it to that data center, using the SD-WAN appliances on both ends to bond those links together and you know, improve uh, you know, connectivity and re add resiliency by allowing failover between the links. And this works great for resources that are hosted in that data center. The user gets great access to those resources and if for some reason one of the links dies and it just fails over to the other side, and their performance is great. And this is awesome for resources hosted in that data center because that end user's traffic goes right where it needs to, comes right back to them. They don't have to worry about anything in that regard. But as we start to leverage more online resources, more web and SaaS-based applications, well, that adds a lot of uh, additional overhead because now rather than that traffic going from the branch to the data center, it's now going from the branch to the data center and then back out to the internet. And then the responses have to flow back the opposite direction back to the end user, adding additional latency, additional uh, performance perception. And so those users now feel like their, their sessions are slower, uh, that the internet is taking longer. And in some cases, why does it say I'm coming from Chicago when my office is in Santa Clara? So that adds to that perception again uh, for the end user of, of the internet just being weird in the office. But then when you add to that fact that it's not just one branch connecting anymore, you know, th these businesses have, have multiple branches. We're not just worried about one, we're more worried about all of them. So all of that traffic is now having to flow across that MPLS or, or internet, that SD-WAN environment back to the data center, hairpin out to the web, and then come back again, which you know adds to additional performance and now even more overhead on that internet link coming from the, uh, from the data center. So what we are now doing within the the uh, Citrix SD-WAN environment is we're able to go in and set policies that say, if you see certain application types or certain types of traffic, rather than send that through the data center, we want you to use the internet link tied to that local branch's uh, SD-WAN appliance and send it straight out to the internet. And this does a couple of things, as you'll see here shortly. But now I can set those policies and now my end user's traffic will go where I need it to go rather than having to hairpin through my data center. So what this looks like is now when those users need to get access to those web and SaaS, Office 365 or resources that are stored in Azure, I can send that traffic directly from the branch out to the internet. And this is something that this application steering has changes how that end user's traffic works and now they get a better experience. So this solved the problem uh, after version 10 in our products. But what's even more interesting is the fact that now we can actually talk directly to Microsoft's virtual WAN. Uh, and so rather than the traffic, you know, leaving the internet connection and then having to find maybe one particular point of presence, it's actually going straight to any of Microsoft's point of presences located around the globe. So those end users in those branch locations needing access to Office 365 resources like Exchange Online, their traffic is going directly to a pop and sent across Microsoft's virtual WAN to those resources, greatly accelerating that user experience. So let's take a little bit about uh, a little bit of a look at what that might be like. So these are uh, files stored out in OneDrive and a user's opening up PowerPoint presentation. And before I could even finish telling you about that, you'll notice the one connected directly to Azure Virtual WAN on the right is already up and running the end users seeing their PowerPoint presentation. Took about 28 seconds for that one to load. But if you look at the left, it's still running. That's That PowerPoint is still attempting to load. And I'm going to, you'll see it eventually here. We're starting to paint the, the you know, the PowerPoint file there. And eventually that thing's going to load. And, you know, this is what an end user is having to experience, right? If that data is having to go back through that data center and finally go hit Microsoft, it's a pretty painful experience. And you'll see the mouse wiggles there. And the video's actually stopped running, but you'll notice it actually never finished painting the entire, uh, the entire PowerPoint file because it didn't point the uh, preview on the left. So 
that's a pretty rough experience for an end user. So let's take a look at another example. So in this case, we're actually going to use some, some Microsoft tools. This is the network assessment tool. We're going out and we're showing that, hey, we're going to try to attempt to make a, a, a Skype call. And you'll see we've got some serious packet loss. We've got a pretty high round trip time and a bunch of jitter, which is a horrible experience for an end user trying to use Skype. We've also attempted to do a download from OneDrive, and it says it's going to take about 31 minutes. And we're trying to do a search here, which took way too long just to return some emails from Office 365. So now we have inter inter added in that uh, that backhaul or breakout, I should say that internet breakout. And now the end user's latency has dropped down to 13 milliseconds. They have seven milliseconds of jitter and 0.1% packet loss. It's a pretty decent connection at that point. That download time went from 31 minutes to three minutes. And now that search in Outlook has now taken you know, less than a second to return those email searches. So you can see it's a pretty dreadful experience today where those users are having to backhaul through the data center, add all that additional latency and overhead versus the breakout. So this is a very powerful change that leveraging these, these technologies, that internet breakout for that traffic going to Azure that the SD-WAN uh, platform provides. So as you can see here, We've increased our overall experience by two to five per, uh, times, uh, increased those faster downloads, opening Word documents and PowerPoint talk, documents are, are extremely accelerated, and obviously providing a better call quality for those Skype and team calls.